Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Are you ready to step up your car detailing to the next level? Well, today we're gonna to talk about the MJJC Phone Cannon Pro. Stick around. So why a phone cannon? After you've done your quick pre-rinse, knock off those heavy contaminants on your vehicle, the next step is to basically give it a layer of foam and then you follow up with your two bucket wash. And again, I personally I find after doing this for the last year and a half, it, that's the best way. It gives you the best cleanest wash and also in the quickest way possible. So why the MJJC? Um, about a year ago, again, once I started kind of getting into this passion of car detailing, I looked on online and, um, you know, from a few, there wasn't a whole lot of reviews, but I did stumble over a couple and they talked about the, the MJJC and the pro looked on and thought I'd give it a shot. So pricing, the unit goes for about $100 Canadian, I think about $80 US on the site. It kind of varies, you know, depends on retailer and sales. As for the competition, we've got the MTM phone cannon goes for around $135, give or take. We've also got two options from Chemical Guys. Um, kind of the more nicer option would be the Chemical Guys Big Mouth. Kind of starts to get up to 150. So at the end of the day, the MJJC foam cannon is actually a really good bang for your buck for around the $99 mark. It links are in the description below. So again, feel free to take a look there. The packaging, and I apologize, I don't have the package anymore, but it came in a nice clean box. It came with everything you need. It came with some additional filters that go inside the unit. It does come with a pre-installed 1.25 orifice, but they do give you an option of going to a 1.1. As for the dimensions of a unit, it sits around nine and a half inches tall about eight inches wide. The bottle itself is about five and a half inches tall. So getting into the build of the unit, um, again, super strong. You know, you got some hard, hard plastics. You got your brass parts, stainless steel, quick connect as well. Nice thing about this particular model versus the comp competition is the base is, it's got a good size wide base. So the nice thing about this is when you put it down with the gun, it, it doesn't want to tip. I've never had this tip over and, you know, cause again, you don't want to protect it from damaging. You know, it's great in that sense. Um, along with the base, they do have these kind of grooves, which is nice so you can get your hand in there. About, you know, three half turns and you're off. You got a wide mouth up here, which is great for pouring out product, filling it in, going from there. On the side of the unit, it does have a measuring guide as well. I personally just put three ounces of Mr. Pink or Adam's foam into the unit and then fill the rest of it up with water. In doing so, I like just to dip this in, let the water pour in versus putting it under the hose and spraying and then it starts to want to foam up naturally. Going into the gun itself, this is what's really cool. They have this um, tube here, flexible tube with a ball bearing. Now, why is that important? Well, gravity, as you're tilting your unit, this naturally just goes to the lowest point in the bottle to basically maximize the product that uh, you have in there. So again, great, simple, but very efficient design. We do have the, the air holes on top. So again, as product is leaving uh, the canister, it's not uh, creating a lock there. Moving up to the top, the actual primary, what we're going to get out of the gun system here is it is a quick connect, which is great for um, changing out to your units. Like I said, if we pull off the unit here, if we have a need to clean it, this is where the pre-installed 1.22, or excuse me, 1.25 Orifice is already installed. This is where you could switch it out. And right here in the middle, this is where the filters are that you can replace. And if it, you're finding it's just not performing as well, you can take a look and, and do that. Okay, so put that back on. Okay. Moving on, moving on to the top. This is the flow. So as we can change it, we can change how much product it's pulling out of the unit. 
but personally I like to crank this right to the maximum to allow the maximum amount of some foam. Moving on to the red portion, this allows us to turn this 360 degrees and you'll see at the end there that we can change our direction of our, our fan spray from the phone so we can just have it vertical which I personally like um, you can change it to a 45 or you can change it horizontal so maybe if you're doing um, roof of a car you rather than you fighting with it you can just automatically change this and go from there and then the most important part is the fan spray that we're working with so that's that black portion and you can as you turn the black portion by itself it's going to open up and then you can close it all the way in. I personally leave it about, give or take, maybe a sixteenth inch of a gap between it, and that gives it a nice spray. And that's the MJC at a glance of the product by itself. I think enough chit chat. Let's go take a look and test it out. We're up in the garage now. We're going to connect our MJC JC foam cannon to our MTM uh, washer. Now this unit you guys here see here, I'm going to put a link above. You can take a look if you want to know the full details and how I built this and so on. But um, before we connect um, the actual foam cannon, let's go fill it up. All right. So today we're going to use Mr. Pink and Mr. Pink is made by chemical guys. It's a great product. I use it um, for my, weekly washes and everything. I find this goes, this one gallon here lasts about a season, which is nice, about $40, $40 so it's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna pour in three ounces. About that. Down the side here. Okay, I'm gonna see here. That in and the nice big wide mouth. Excellent. And then if we come over here, well, I've already got my two buckets set up. And the nice thing is, I just dunk it in here. And rather than putting the hose in there and spraying down, as you can see, that the soap doesn't get activated, which is really, really awesome. I'm just gonna throw it on top, a couple turns. And I was talking about that. Um, the seal here, if I dip it over, like I said, it's Brock solid other than the drips in my hands, but nice, great seal. So now, all I'm gonna do is take off this unit here. And just quick connect it. And then we're ready to go. As we talked, we wanna make sure that's around, give or take a 16th of an inch. This is totally up to you, how much you wanna play with it. I've got my Boom, maximized on and ready to go. And again, being a quick connect, it's we've got to work. And again, we've got that tube with the bulb bearing that it's always going to be pulling the material. So when we're ready, here we go. As they come down here, you can clearly see just the beautiful foam that it's created. Um, the soap is just dripping down. It's quite slick. Very nice. We got this thing sprayed and foamed up. It's mitt time. So that's the MJJC foam counter in action. You can see like it gets a beautiful spread of the foam. It, it does, you know, it does it really well. It's amazing. Um, of course, with the wash done, I'm gonna throw in my orifice and basically give it a rinse. So we're gonna do that. All right guys, so that's the MJJC foam cannon. Again, as you see, it just it's great. You can have a whole car foamed in one single canister in one shot. It just takes a minute or so. 
and then you can do your two bucket wash. Again, great tool for that. It's my part of my essential uh, arsenal of tools each week for the wash. So um, until next time, or we'll see you guys later. I'm gonna just finish up.